Hi there. Uh, this uh, Python uh, temperature conversion program that I just finished uh, developing. Okay, right up there, I've used a uh, loop to write the program. So what I've done in here is uh, the end user is meant to enter the values to be converted. Okay, and the following are printed out. But if you're wondering what I meant by the slash t, I'm actually talking of tab. Okay, so I can always say slash t uh, slash t equals tab. You understand? Just like we have it in C plus plus, and I also have in here slash n, which means a uh, new line. Okay, so slash n equals new line all right so if you guys look up here what I've done in here is input you see the following is select an option whatever I selected goes straight into information which means if information equals C or equals lowercase c carry out this following calculation this very calculation is the temperature conversion formula okay and right here is my own data input which is q and exactly the same thing i've repeated but for the one up here this is celsius and right here is Fahrenheit. If I select F here, this following formula will be used. You can see the difference in the formula. If you don't know the uh, temperature conversion formula, you can always see this tons and tons of temperature conversion formula on the internet. You just look at it, it's right there. Now, the third one is the Kelvin. Okay, all you just have to do is to add 273, and that's exactly what I've done. Now, you see, if you're not familiar uh, with uh, Python, you will see L E L I F, which actually means because I started my program here with an if statement, else if I choose F this is the calculation I expect it to do and here print out the result and right here is just an underline but if I decide to choose else if k uppercase or lowercase k then that's the Kelvin calculation and that's what's going to happen right here else if I select Q exit the program else if there's any silly mistakes this message will pop up so what I'll do right now is either press F5 to run the program or just go to run and run the program guys I need to save as it save and that is it so we all know minus 40 is Minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius is always minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. I'm just going to select any of those. I've selected Fahrenheit and that is what you get. Minus 40. Let's try out 32. 32 degrees. Give that to me in uh, Celsius and let's see. 32 degrees Fahrenheit is always 0 degrees Celsius and you guys see how the program works now right now and I do hope you enjoy it so please subscribe and uh, whatever can be done to improve this program please let me know thank you bye